Hi everybody, Vanquished Angel here again, and today we're going to cover Linux for 4K TV screens. Now I don't know if you can tell that or not, but I got a new monitor and it is 4K and that is what I'm using right now. That's what you're seeing. However, this was not an easy endeavor for many reasons. Um, it took a lot to get it this far. <clears throat> so, I'm going to start with a lot of issues that I had was um, the pixels, um, the 4K screens, there is a lot more. And a lot of things in Linux are set to a static amount of pixels or a pretty standard amount. The old school version was like 96 pixels. So, uh, equals an inch or something along those lines. I don't really know it off the top of my head anymore um, because I've done so much research and editing of files that I've kind of lost that. But the common issue is that the amount of pixel used stays the same when you upgrade to a different screen. Some adapt, some don't. Uh, 4K screens, a lot of them don't even have settings for anymore. So um, your text will get smaller on a higher resolution screen because of it. Because it's using the same number of pixels, just in a much smaller space. And your cursor will shrink, and there's a whole lot of other problems. So what you see here are some of the adjustments that I have made in front of you. And this has taken a little while to put together, and is not very easy. So one of the first things I'm going to start with is configuring the panel. Now this panel was eeny weeny teeny weeny. I had to upgrade it to um, 64 pixels and the icon size to 48 pixels. That is to get this size that you see here. And over here it's that size that you see there. Um, other than that here I didn't change much. Just that. So that'll get that nice size that you can see from far away or a decent space away. Then the next thing you're going to want to do is get the text font higher. This text and that will stay eensy weensy teeny weeny and you won't be able to read it. You have to get it higher. So one of the ways that that is done, and I will walk you through here, so this might be a little longer video, but I'm going to walk you through it. So we're going to this one right here. This etc light dm uh, light dm dot conf dpi dot conf paste so you're gonna look for that um, I use light dm so you're gonna have to find your own dm unless light dm works for all Linuxes or all Ubuntu's at least and it's a permission to oh because I forgot to put in sudo leafpad then we put that in. And then we're going to need the password. And then this is what you're going to enter right into there. Is this right here. This tells the X server what to what the DPI will be and uh, this is like the highest level priority that I'm aware of. So a lot of applications that try to overwrite this will not be able to. It'll overwrite them. <laughs> so this will apply in almost all of your applications, browsers, you name it. It'll apply there. But we have a few that take theirs from different sources or take their DPI from different sources. So we're going to have to go into one of them is I always forget that X resources now this is for the fonts and now we're gonna pull that up and now this has a couple of changes now for this one here it just says um, this XFT DPI 192 you're gonna to want to put that in there the rest of this will come later um, 192 is really great for 4K resolution screens such as the one you're seeing. Um, and that's the size text and it affects all the text that you see from inside of here, well most of it, from inside of here, um, pretty much everywhere. 
so but not in all places so we're gonna have to go over a lot of others but this will affect all your windows and stuff as well um, so we'll get back to the mouse part but then we need to enter this as well this is basically you're gonna give a command to merge uh, files here so we're going to bring that up, and this is that X session RC, and then you're basically saying if X resources, then merge X resources. So if there's two files, merge them together, and then this is X render, the, one of the other uh, references that an application may use for the DPI, 192, and enter that in there as well. Um, I'll try to put, remember to put this in the description so that you can copy and paste because I feel these settings are really good for 4K. Um, and then there's that one. So all once all that is done, you should restart your computer and come back to this video and your text in a 4K should be uh, looking like mine, like you see here in the different windows, like the screen recorder, and the icons over here and stuff like that. Now we're gonna go on to the cursors. This part was a pain in the butt because some Linuxes have it where you can set the cursor or the cursor size, some don't. In my case Lubuntu does not for the global text or for the cursors. So that that is the manual way to do the global text um, and this is going to be the manual way for the cursors, but this is also helpful because it helps you to install other cursors that you may find. So there are options for cursors all over the place, only a lot of it can be rather difficult. And I'll explain that in a little bit. So we are going to open up Synaptic because I like Synaptic. And what you're going to do in Synaptic here is type cursors and then there's big cursor and then there's that and then there's others you're going to want to install the themes like oxygen and moblin you might say cursor theme and see if that weeds out a lot of stuff um yeah and then there's that not all of them have the name theme in them so particularly if you're looking for a bigger one, the one you're going to probably want, well, we'll go over what you'll find, but you're going to want to install um, a lot of these cursor themes that you see in here. Not all of these are cursor themes, so like that one's oxygen cursor theme. Uh, plasma cursor theme so you have to read a little bit anyway so get all those installed and, and you'll have a ton to pick from but the one that I'm gonna um, head you towards here is the large mouse cursors and that's what you see right here that I'm using um, so we're gonna open up Chrome and then we're gonna paste that in there and go and you might have to create a login to get the download link so this is at opendesktop.org and notice that I'm logged in um, I could not get it to show a download link without me logged in and then even sometimes it wouldn't show the download link there's some issue with it this set of cursors is actually very old I want to say 13 years old um, but it's excellent like the like the one you see there it's it's great then you're going to download it or you can click the install button but i for this purpose we're going to download it and in case i don't already have it downloaded and it says help support to make the site grow and then my I download it oh and i get a little tick there so once it's downloaded then you're going to have to go to your downloads folder. 
I always get confused on where stuff is because sometimes they've changed it. Um, and then we're going to extract here. And then you got this folder, large mouse cursors. Okay, now this folder has to go into a special spot. And it has to do so in, you have to use root. So we're going to have to open as root, which you can do in PC Man FM. Um, you'll have to find other ways of doing it in other uh, file managers. Oh, I used an incorrect password. There. So now that we've got that open, we're going to have to open another tab. And we're going to have to go here and then user share and then we're going to have to it takes a while to load because there's a lot then you're going to have to find the icons folder and so for me that's right here so user share icons and then we're going to have to copy that folder over into here I already have it and this is in alphabetical order this time so it's going to say large mouse cursors it's right there so you essentially just take it from here and copy it over there but you see I've already done that so we're not going to do that and then once you have that in there and all your others that you install from um, synaptic package manager will appear here too so once you have that from in there um, we'll close that <laughs> and it's installed to there then we need to go to lxqt config or whatever your settings or configuration one is for yours so if you're using a different flavor of ubuntu or whatever else there now we're going to go into lx appearance and cursor now, mine's already selected, but you're going to have a, a whole ton. Um, like, as you can see, the chameleon ones also have larger sizes. So I'm going to describe that really quick on why I chose a different one. The reason is, is because the standard cursor is for standard resolution, not HDTVs. And then you have your slightly bigger ones and those are for your high definition your 720p and then you have your large ones and your large ones are for 1080p however there is none that I could find for 4k which is a lot larger <laughs> than 1080p so installing this one has the a lot larger like very large cursors which work really well for 4K monitors. So large mouse cursors you'll select and then you'll have to hit close. Now that you've got that done, go back to my list here. I made it so I wouldn't lose too much track of where I was going. Um, and so we have that. There's more in here too. that we will cover okay that's something different we'll get there and so we got that changed in LX appearance and then we're going to go to this one here because like with the fonts uh, many places take their information of cursors from somewhere else so we're going to have to close this out and then we're going to paste that in there and then we get this now it says do not edit but we're going to edit 
at least these two parts right here these two parts so it'll have the uh, uh, cursor name in there replace it with large mouse cursors and it'll have a GTK cursor theme size replace that with 64 because that's the size of the cursors that we've chosen now you notice my cursor changes here um, I haven't I have to restart after making some changes yet but that's what it should look like and what it does in that text window there then um, we're gonna go to this one here we gotta do the X resources after you enter those two things in and we were here before for this DPI but now we gotta enter the cursor theme name and the size large mouse cursors and might as well put the cursor size that's 64 in there as well um, for that one then we're gonna go to here now this has a list of all the cursors and stuff that I have installed the only thing that it didn't contain was the manually installed one. You're going to have to enter that. I enter it right at the bottom, right here, because I believe it goes in order. So the top one will be this top one right here, that curse, that breeze or whatever. And then go down to the comment part, down at the very bottom here, and you enter that other part, this right here and then inherits change that to large mouse cursors the name of the cursors that we're using and then you can close that out after you save it now we're going to run lxqt config again And this time we're going to go into open box. Now, I was in here before, earlier. I don't know why it doesn't remember that I stretched it out like that, but it should. Um, now, the reason why you're coming into here is multiple reasons. The texts and the cursor part changes won't change this top bar of all your windows. So all of this will be really tiny and so like and as you can see the symbols are really tiny and if you have to click those little tiny symbols it makes things hard and that was to, to click them you know little, little little itty bitty ones so I go with the clear looks because that whole thing then is a button and that just works for me and then there's this so then we have to go into appearance that's fine font now you're going to have to change the font to something you can read or see. Um, so we're going to redo this and I'm going to say 18. Okay, and you notice that it changes size. And the text will set the, the size of the bar, which then will set the size of the buttons. So even though the symbols are really small, the, uh, the size of the buttons has changed. So that's why I like that one. And you can play around in here a little bit more. There's icon themes that you can switch or different themes. But the most important thing in that one is the cursor. Now to the meat and potatoes. Now you go into some things and all these will be small and the text will be small. and that's not going to work very well either and these will be small too so we're going to go into edit preferences and then behavior then display I change this top one for the size of the big icons for 72 by 72 and we can try that there's the 96 
I actually kind of like that better. So I'm going to go with that. Um, now we're going to go back to the preferences, display, and then of the small icons. Now the small icons are good, and that's about the maximum size they go to is 48 by 48. Um, size of thumbnails. Let's see, I had it there. Let's try that. I don't really know what that's changed. Maybe it's the of other things, I don't know. Okay, so file preference. And then we're going to go back to display. We can change that back though. Um, and then the side panel icons, that's over here. So right now it's at 48, which is the biggest it goes to, but there's we'll go down to 32, and they got smaller. So display. I'm going to go back up to 48, because I like that. You can adjust the margins as well, if you wish, from there, or kind of make it a little bit better. Um, user interface. There. And then advanced extern file. You can change this stuff. Um, I did change this to LX terminal, but it switched. I must have just X'd out. Um, so let's see. We'll go preferences, display, size of thumbnails. It didn't seem to change much. So um, so there you have that one. So that should be the end of this. That should handle just about everything that you would need to change the cursors. There are, you'll have to restart. Um, put that down. You'll have to restart your computer for a lot of it to take effect, um, but it should all be visible by the end. And good luck. Have fun and add your own, you know, to the bottom there. Um, all right. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.